And so the pig and the giant lizard brought the boy back to his family at the bowling alley. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. That was a neat story, Grandpa George. Can you tell me another one? Oh, I'd love to, Annie. But if you don't get some sleep, you're going to be pooped tomorrow. And you know what tomorrow is? Christmas? That's right. So let's just close our little eyes. Oh, please, Grandpa, just one more story. Oh, your mom's going to be... Oh, she won't mind. Just one more story. A Christmas story. <laughs> oh, all right. I suppose one more story won't hurt. Besides, what are Grandpa's for anyways? Oh, thank you, Grandpa George. Now, let's see. A Christmas story. Oh, did I ever tell you about the town that didn't get Christmas? You mean they didn't have Christmas? No, I mean they didn't get Christmas. They had Christmas. They loved the packages and the toys and everything, but they didn't understand what Christmas was really about. Now, let's see. What was the name of that? Dinkletown, that's it. I, I used to deliver the mail there. Children of Dinkletown loved to see me around Christmas time because they all thought they was getting something. I can't believe it's Christmas. I think I'm finally getting something. Can't believe it's Christmas, my favorite time of year. I can't believe it's Christmas. Been dreaming of a sugar plum thing. Can't believe it's Christmas. Oh boy, it's finally here. Billy. 
I don't know, but he has more toys than me. I want a buzzsaw Louie. I want ten buzzsaw Louis. Cause that's the true meaning of Christmas. Oh, it's working. It's working wonderfully. What's working, boss? You mean you wanted those kids to be all whiny? Mm-hmm. I don't get it, boss. You see, Mr. Lunt, the only way their parents will get them to stop whining is to buy them lots of toys. And as the owner of the Nessa Toy Factory, I'll make out like a bandit. Oh, boss, you are very whiny. More whiny than my brother, Nebby K? You mean the one with the chocolate factory that I used to work for? Oh, you are much more wily than him. Good. Soon everyone will know that Wally P. Nezer is the wiliest Nezer of them all. Oh, there's no doubt about that, boss. Well, fire up the assembly line, Mr. Lunt. We've got money to make. And that's what Christmas is all about. That's not what Christmas is about. I know that, and you know that, but Wally P. Neza was a little confused. And thanks to his TV commercial, so was everybody else. The kids were whining and the toys were flying off assembly line just like he planned. That must have been the worst Christmas ever. Oh, yes, it would have been if it wasn't for what happened next. What? What happened? Well, as the toys were coming down the assembly line having their noses tested, one of them winced. He grimaced, made a face, didn't like the sound of the words that was coming out of his own head. But he was just a toy. Maybe he was wired different. Who knows? Anyways, that night, while all the other toys were waiting to get sent out, he was doing some thinking. Grumpy kids, greedy dreams. This is not what Christmas means. I'm just a toy. I don't claim to be a genius, but there must be more to Christmas. There must be more to Christmas. I think we're really missing something. Must be more to Christmas. But what? Yes, there had to be more. Louis didn't know what it was, but he figured it was about time somebody found out. before. Why, he'd never even been out of his box before. But he was a smart toy. How hard could it be? Maybe a little harder than he thought. The toy that saved Christmas will continue after this short break. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve and Laddie is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa. I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. And I've got cookies. Three yummy cookies. Just for you for when you come. Only for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. 
Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but a crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank, yes, I've come to rob your bank, and I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels. So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle, and let me in. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker. I have no bank, my robbing friend, but I have cookies. Three yummy cookies. And I don't have nickels. But please take this, my robbing friend. Eat one of these, my robbing friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill. But Larry, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a robber. I, can't I came wait to for rob you your bank. Yes, I, I came to rob you your bank. bank. And I've got cookies. You shared a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Just though I'd love to take your time. Me for half so another time. time. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Once again, it is not Santa who has come to Laddie's door, but this time a savage Norseman. Who are you? I'm a Viking! And I've come to take your land. Oh, yes, I've come to take your land. And I've come to burn your crops and steal your horses. And I've come to step on your chickens and soil your quilts. Hey. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I don't have land. I don't have crops, my Viking friend, but I have cookies. Two yummy cookies. And I don't have horses. But please take this, my Viking friend. Eat one of these, my Viking friend. They are for Santa. But you may have one. The Viking is also touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry's thoughts are still with Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a Viking. I, can't I came wait to for take you your to land. Come. Oh, yes, I, can't I came wait for to take you your to land. Come. I got a cookie. You shared a cookie. A yummy cookie. A yummy cookie. Just oh, for I you love bar when you come. Me for I don't you bar when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. Who are you? I'm from the IRS, and I've come to attack your... Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. It's finally Santa. It's finally him. At last, the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me. A good cucumber like me. I'm Santa. And I've come to bring you gifts. Oh, yes, I've come to bring you gifts. And I've come to stuff your stockings. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And I've come to jiggle my belly and wiggle my nose. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my belt? And what are you doing with my hat? So you're the ones. Wait a minute, I can explain. We've changed. Nobody messes with Santa. You know that, don't you? You've been very naughty, and I've got a list. Did you claim that? Merry Christmas. And now, back to the toy that saved Christmas. Yahoo! This is great! Yeah! Whee! Um, aren't we going a little fast? Look out for that tree! Tree? Well, what tree? No problem! Hang on, guys! What? Why? Why do I need to hang on? That was fun! I want to do it again. You know, I really can't see anything from back here. Uh, do you guys know where we're going? No idea. Never been here before. No.
Mouse trap. Huh? I wanted to play mouse trap. You roll your dice, you move your mice. Nobody gets hurt. Hey! This must be the trail to the Pugsleyville Bridge. The what? That bridge that collapsed. You know, we heard about it on TV. Boy, we're sure lucky we didn't go down there. Guys, look what I found! That's a buzzsaw Louie! Cool! Push his nose! Push his nose! Okay. You need more toys. Now that's the true meaning of Christmas. No, it isn't. Who said that? I did. That's not what Christmas is about. It's not? No. Christmas isn't about whining and begging for more toys. Well, then what is it about? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. I'm on an adventure. Ooh. Or at least I was, until I got stuck in that snowdrift. Well, maybe we could help you. Hey, I know someone who's really, really smart. Maybe they could tell us what Christmas means. Well, they all thought that was a great idea. So they headed off together to see this smart person. Who was it? Well, um, it was, uh, me. You, Grandpa George? Don't act so surprised. Yep, three boys and a funny little toy show up at my front door wondering if I know the true meaning of Christmas. Well, did you? Course, but I didn't want to just give it to them, so I read them a story from a very old book. Ah, here it is. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down to them from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed all around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a Savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is because you'll find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Don't you see? That baby was Jesus. That night was the first Christmas. You see, God loved people so much that he gave his only son so that everyone could be with him someday. Christmas isn't about getting, it's about giving. And it's especially about a little baby named Jesus who was the greatest gift of all. You are smart, Grandpa George. Is that the end of the story? Oh, no. Now they knew what Christmas was about, but everybody else was still in the dark. Wah! Buzzle Louie! Wah! Buzzle Louie! Oh, ah! oh, boy, it's gotten worse. We've got to tell Dinko Town what we know about Christmas. Yeah, but that TV commercial didn't just go to Dinkletown, it went everywhere. We've got to tell everybody. But Christmas is tomorrow. How could we possibly go everywhere? You can just forget about Pugsleyville. The bridge is out. This is hopeless. Christmas is ruined. No, there must be a way. Keep thinking. I've got it! Huh? We've got to get into that toy factory! Follow me, everyone! We can save Christmas! I still don't understand why we're here. Yeah, 
I just got out of this place. I don't want to go back in. Shh! You'll just have to trust me. It's the only way. This is a... it's a... TV studio? That's right! It was Mr. Nezzer's television studio. Now, Junior figured that since it was a TV commercial that got him into this mess, maybe another TV commercial could get him out of it. Well, here's hoping. Christmas is really about. And if we remember that, this will be the best Christmas ever. So you're the guys who want to ruin my Christmas. N -n no that's not it at all. We just want everyone to know what Christmas is really about. Do you think they care? Well... Do you really think they care about all that giving and love stuff? Well... Listen, the only thing kids want to know about Christmas is that they're going to get more toys. And I intend to keep it that way. That's why I'm going to have to send you boys on a little trip. Let's see, where would you like to go? Wibblestown? Bumbleyburg? Just don't send us to Bugsleyville. The bridge is out. Bugsleyville! Oh, I hear it's nice this time of year. Mr. Lunt, four tickets to Bugsleyville, please. Right away, boss. Way to go. The plunger, Mr. Lunt. Now on my signal. Thing. If those 
people really cared about what you had to say, where are they now? We're right here. Huh? We care very much about the true meaning of Christmas, Mr. Nezzer. That's why we came here, to give you what you deserve. Whoa, you didn't really think I was gonna. <laughs> oh, that was just a, just a joke. I wouldn't. What are you gonna do? Mr. Nezzer? Merry Christmas. What? Is that for me? Oh, it's a little bear. Oh, I always wanted a Christmas present, but we were too poor. You don't know how happy this makes me. Look, isn't it cute? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I caused, and I'm going to make it up. What? Oh, no. Mr. Lunt, another sled! I'll save them! Found them. 
Why, if I hadn't had a winch on my truck, they'd probably still be there today. Wow, so it was a good Christmas after all? Annie, it was a great Christmas. The next day, everyone got together to exchange gifts. Why, even Mr. Nether was there. Oh, oh Mr. <laughs> Nether, yes. how did you know? Oh, I have one just like that. Oh, it's just what I always wanted. You can take it back to the What about Louie? What happened to him? Well, he ended up living in Dinkletown. At first, he wanted to have his buzzsaw surgically removed so nobody would get hurt. But then he finally figured out what it was good for. What? Making furniture. Why, he filled Dinkletown with new tables and chairs and hutches and spice racks and those little things to hang your mugs on and... Well, you get the picture. I need more wood! But the best part of all was that they finally knew what Christmas really meant. And they just couldn't stop thinking about it and talking about it and even singing about it. Yep, it was the best Christmas ever. I'm wrapping up a sugar plum thing. Can't believe it's Christmas. Oh boy, it's finally here. Little brother can't believe it's Christmas, and even Uncle Joe. 